What's up you guys? My name is Coco and I love volleyball. Today I'm going to teach you how to basically set to your teammates. A setter is a position on the court that directs the flow of game. The setter usually gets the second ball and they set up the hit to go ahead and go to the hitter or the spiker. So today we're going to learn how to set. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more videos. Let's get right into it. familiar to what a setter is and a lot of my volleyball vlogs and volleyball tutorials I have talked about setting in the past are made a specific way. So, a lot of the errors that we see in setting, we see hands like this, we see hands like this, we sometimes see hands like this. We are looking for setter's hands, and setter's hands are ball shaped. You want to shape them like you're shaping around a ball. That is what they are, they are ball shaped. They're evenly apart and ball shaped. So I like to say, the, open a window to your eyes. So here, you're gonna see a window to the eyes, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like ball shaped. So what you can do is put both of your hands together, round them up, ball shaped, ball shaped. So take a moment to practice that. Put your hands up, open that. Fingers evenly spread. Keep your fingers evenly spread. Don't keep your fingers like this. Up and open. You can see my whole face through this, okay? Up and open. We're keeping our hands ball shaped. That way when the ball comes into our hand, it's easier to push off. It's easier to push off when they're ball shaped. So remember, a lot of the times I see people do flat hand when they're setting and they're setting with their flat hand. You want to keep your fingers relaxed but firm and keep them ball shaped. The next key we're going to talk about is the wrist. Okay? A lot of the times when you guys want to set, you want to do this. When you just want to move with your arms. It's not just an arm movement. There's actually wrist in there too. Even though we're using a wrist, don't overcomplete the movement. Don't come and do, you know, sometimes you see people and they finish and they just go. You don't have to overcomplete it. It's just a small movement. I'm not overcompleting it. I'm just doing a small movement with my wrist. So take a moment to practice part one and part two, or key one and key two. Key one, getting your hands together. three which is super vital key three is implementing your arm movement so there is arm movement when you set so review key one key two key three oh it's starting to piece together now key three Adding some elbow action in there. So once again, I'm not over completing. None of that. None of the dancer. None of that. I'm just doing a simple movement. Multi-joint movement. One. Two. Three. Okay? And this is assuming that I'm setting straight in front of me. When you're trying to set other kinds of ways, that's when you're gonna to square to your target. And we'll talk about that in a later video. Do we understand key three? It's time for key four. All right, it's time for key four. And that's when you're gonna add in the leg action. 
Okay, P4, I'm just doing a slight bend of the knee. It's just a slight bend of the knee to give myself some more propulsion. Not this, not this. Slight bend of the knees. So when I put it together, P1, P2, P3, P4. Make it sense again. P1. P2. P3. P4. Okay. P4. Now let's say the ball is on top of you and you're looking at it. You're trying to get to it. Same keys, except for I'm just going to move my hand. So now we're going to talk about direction. So if the ball is coming on top of you, you're going to move from here. If this is when you're actively setting someone. You're going to move from here to here. Ball's coming down, same key. This way, ball's coming down, I'm just going to turn my key this way. This way. The keys can be implemented to any setting situation. Any setting situation. You just need to realize where the ball is coming from. So we're going to do a couple example sets with multiple balls in different areas and you'll see how I react. A lot of the times I'll see people want to drop their arms or drop P1 down on their brow because it's easier to contain. That's okay. It is just fingertip. I am only grasping the ball and propelling it with my fingertips only. And that's why we had that key one motion here. My hand or my palm is not fully touching the ball. So let's talk about that a little bit more. Now a lot of you guys have questions about how you hold the ball when you set. Remember, it is fingertip only. Your palm is not going to hold the ball. You're not picking it up virtually to carry it to throw it. That's not the motion you're going for. That's why in key one, then we go to key two, this symbolizes just your fingertips. Just your fingertips are going to control the amount of speed that you have in the direction. Just your fingertips. So you're not going to go like this because you think it's going to go. Or you're not going to get the palm to, to carry it and push it. That's not what you're looking to do. It's fingertip only. And setting takes some practice. Believe me, it takes some practice. I was not the greatest setter when I started playing volleyball, nor do I consider myself a D1 setter now. But I'm teaching you the basics of how to set. That way you can start to develop your skills within your own club, your high school, on your own time, with me, whatever you want to do, because we're here for volleyball. A lot of y'all, when you guys start, you will hear that rough sound, that sound that's like, You'll hear that rough sound where you're contacting the ball and it's like a really heavy sound. That's okay. We're just gonna start working on form and then eventually execution. So start working on your form as soon as you can, then start working on the execution on the skill of setting. I hope that you guys like this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.